Good evening, good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday, the 5th of March. My goodness, where is it going? 2013, and this, my lovely people, it's Vapor Scene. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, indeed. Good evening. Welcome to this episode 19. Show 19. Wow, where's it gone? Um, it is the 5th of March and we have got ooh, a plethora of stuff to get through uh, this evening. And we're going to start this week, not with show as yours. And we'll do that in the second half um, because of, there's quite a few pictures now. I've been getting them in loads and loads and loads uh, coming in. So uh, we've got a nice little selection including some from up the Alps, <laughs> which I will explain later. Uh, anyway, we're going to start this week with a little vapour trail. Uh, and this week, uh, this is actually I did it a couple of weeks ago, and I was going to put it in last week's show, but then uh, I'll put something else in instead. So this week, we're going to have this. I was on my way up the A1, up north, and bleathering away, as I do, and I was talking about this stuff, which is Vermilion River juice. Uh, amongst other things. So uh, enjoy and I'll see you on the other side. Hello, it is me. As you know, because I've just introduced the piece. Uh, <laughs> is it going to be anybody else? I don't know. Um, I'm uh, heading up the A1M this morning up to uh, tie in with you, do a bit of work, as you do. And I haven't done a vapour trail for a while, so uh, I thought I would uh, get one recorded. Well, I say I haven't done one for a while, I've actually recorded quite a bit. I always record in the car. If I've got something on my mind, uh, then um, I'll turn the camera on, my camera phone on, uh, and um, splurge out at the, uh, at the camera and sometimes I show it and sometimes I don't so uh, there we go it's always good to have anyway so um, I am uh, going out there this morning do a bit of work um, and I'm using my MVP my little wrapped MVP uh, with a 2.4 ohm clear miser and within that clear miser I have some Vermilion River uh, premium apple wood PG liquid at 24 milligram. Might be 25 actually. Um, I haven't got it to hand because I filled up my clear miser this morning from the bottle while I was having my cup of coffee in the kitchen. get an apple. Mr Sutton will be happy to know that um, there's no nut in this. <laughs> there's no nut in it. Um, but there is, I would say it's kind of a muted apple. It's one of those juices that I could probably just take or leave. It's perfectly fine. I'm getting some apple in there. Um, getting a half decent throw tip from it. It is PG, so obviously it's going to be a lot 
harsher for me than normal because I normally vape on the PG stuff, uh, on the VG stuff. But um, I thought I'd give these Kentucky Vermilion Rivers, Vermilion River Kentucky brand uh, a go for the, the apple, the maple and the vanilla. Um, and the other two are very similar kind of undertones with the overtone of the other flavour. So, you know, whether that's the apple, the maple or the um, vanilla. This isn't really juicy juicy, I just thought I'd uh, share my thoughts on this juice uh, as I was driving. Um, what I have been thinking about this morning is what I'm going to say to my MP tomorrow. Because as I said on my show on the 19th um, of Feb, is that I am seeing the MP from my constituency tomorrow afternoon. I have a 20 minute slot. Uh, and he's declined, or his aide has declined that I take my video camera. He will not talk to my camera. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what he says, what he knows, uh, if he has any misconceptions about vaping, uh, about the whole community. Uh, and whether he knows anything to do, if he's a smoker, if he's interested in making the switch, I don't know. So I've kind of been going through my head what I'm going to say to him, uh, how I'm going to explain myself, and try and pack it all into the 20 minutes allotted time that I have. Um, so time will tell on that one, and I'm sure I will be updating you good people with uh, what he says and uh, what he is prepared to do on my behalf, whether or not that is raising a question in the Commons or sending a letter to the Secretary of State for help, which is one of the things I'm going to be requesting he does, um, because we need clarification. Um, and. I want to impress upon him the notion, shall we say, that I do not want to be governed by Brussels. I don't want the European Union, the European Parliament, telling me that I cannot use juice that's over four milligram per milliliter strength. Um, or I cannot buy it, shall we say. Because seeing as I make my own, I can make it whatever strength I like and they can't stop them. Not unless I've got the ingredients. Um, and as you know, I do carry a reasonable stockpile um, of nicotine nickel. Um, and I've just ordered, I have to say, I've just ordered a litre from overseas. Um, from a company that I have not used before um, and the prices are ridiculously cheap I mean ridiculously cheap then you add on the shipping <laughs> and it makes it um, it makes it a lot more but still really cheap so I shall be testing that anyway I've only ordered a small amount um, because A, I wanted to see what the company was like and B, I wanted to be able to limit my losses if it all went the wrong way. If the brown stuff hit the fan uh, and it turned out to be useless. Um, so I've limited my losses there, but I will be testing it um, with my nicotine testing kit um, to get the exact nicotine content. So uh, that's something that uh, I will share with you when, uh, 
when I've done it. Uh, it's been it's been quite a while since I ordered it, um, although it was Chinese New Year and they weren't doing anything with orders until the 16th of February. So uh, currently it's only been five days since the order would have uh, been fulfilled. So we'll see what happens whether it arrives safely um, and what the uh, nicotine content actually is compared to what I ordered. Uh, and I ordered 75 Um So we shall see. Anyway, back to the um, Vermilion River. It's not something that I would vape on all day. I think it's a little bit... I'm trying to think what the word is. It's, I think I'd get bored with the taste quite quickly. Um, and that's why I usually carry more than one device with more than one juice. So I don't get bored. Um, I've got my spinner with the, uh, the 5 mil clearmizer on there. And in here, in here I have some um, mint chop, not chop mint. Um, and I've added into that some uh, ethyl maltol solution that I made up with some crystals that Kat very kindly sent to me in the post um, and my office at home smells like a fairground candy floss shop, a candy floss store because it hits us, the smell of the uh, ethyl maltol just uh, permeates through and it's in two plastic bags but you can still smell it. Um, and for those of you that haven't used the crystals yet, um, PG is definitely the way to go when mixing these up. I made the, uh, the mistake when I started and I used some uh, VG for my menthol crystals. And as I've said in previous shows, the, uh, the menthol crystals recrystallized. And that's the VG that does that. So I made up a solution of PG. I bought 100 mils of PG, so I don't actually have any. So I bought 100 mils of PG, and I've made up a solution of menthol with the crystals. I didn't even need to use the Van Marie method. They've um, dissolved very nicely, and I've now got 30 mils of quite potent menthol flavoring. And then I made up some ethyl maltol, which I did have to heat up, and I used Kat's microwave method. Uh, and that was uh, in a container, 10 seconds at full power in the microwave, just to, just to warm it through. And that, um, that dissolved them quite nicely. But I then made the mistake of putting the resulting liquid into a bottle of my VG and it's my VG from a well-known chemist uh, and there was a little bit left in the bottle and that little bit was enough to recrystallize the crystals overnight um, which was a little bit weird. So I added some more PG into that, gave it a shake, let it settle and I've then decanted off the resulting liquid. Uh, and there's a few crystals left in the bottom of the bottle. Um, so now I've got 30 mils of ethyl maltol flavour and 30 mils of menthol flavour. Um, and you can see now how PG is better for making those flavourings than, uh, than using VG. So there you are. Right, well, 
I've got, uh, got over an hour to go yet before I reach my destination. So uh, I'm going to have a little drink and um, carry on. Yes, that was my little vapor trail that I did a couple of weeks ago. And obviously last week I did update you on what Dan Jarvis, my uh, constituency MP, had said. I'm still waiting to hear back um, from said MP about what he has or hasn't done yet. I will update you as soon as I can. Uh, I did have a conversation, I was looking down at a little note I made earlier. I did have a conversation earlier with uh, a UKIP plenary uh, in the European Parliament. He's based over in Brussels and we had a good little chat. I found on my mobile. I don't know how much it cost me mind, but there you go. <laughs> I'll wait for my bill to come. Um, anyway, I have him slated in for an interview on the 8th of April uh, and by all accounts he's a good person to know in the European Parliament. So uh, I'll keep you informed on that. A um, couple of things to wrap up on. I've now got a big bottle of uh, PG, which Callum, um, my sponsor at Healthy Vape, sent me today. Uh, I've also got some juices, um, which I will be vaping on and bringing you the results of. Uh, and this is the bottle of uh, nicotine liquid that I was sent, um, that I purchased. Um, and I did two tests on it. I ordered it at 75. I've done two tests, one using one milliliter, or one using three milliliter, and the average out to be 75 milligram. So it was okay. I've not actually vaped any yet, um, but um, it seems to be fine. So there you go. Right, we are going to go into my ad break. And when we come back, we've got vaping dance. We've got show as yours and um, something else. I'll see you when I find the adverts in uh, two minutes. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. in Yorkshire for your ECB needs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-elixir.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-elixir.co.uk Proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv Now it's back to Vacancy on Vapor Trails TV. Vacancy is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And we're back in the room or the studio or the office, um, but you're back with me anyway. That's the main thing. Um, we have got coming up in all oh, 10 seconds um, show as yours uh, but before we do that uh, let's go into this one if you have a question that you would like me to put to um, Michael Joes who's the guy from UKIP in the European Union the European Parliament 
If you'd like to send a question to here, Vapor Scene at Vapor Charles TV, or contact me on Facebook, I will do my best to collate the questions, pick out the best ones, because I've only got a limited amount of time, uh, and um, ask him some questions. So uh, bear that in mind if you would like me to raise a question on your behalf. Uh, right, here it is. It is Show Us Yours. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Wow, <laughs> that used the entire music track. Uh, and for those of you that may or may not be interested, that is called uh, Niles Blues, and it's by a guy called Kevin McLeod. And we use a lot of Kevin's music on our shows. Uh, and I will change the track next week because I've got an even funkier one, an even bluesier one. Um, but there you go. Um, I did get some pictures in before the show went out. Uh, Swifty McTavish. Yours will be on the show next week. Um, you need to get the pictures in to Vapor Scene at vaportrails.tv by 12 p.m. on the Tuesday the show goes out um, because I make that little video up um, before the show goes out uh, and I need a little bit of time just to make sure everything is running perfectly. So if you would like to win a bottle of juice, courtesy of our friends over at Flavor Art UK, Vapor scene at vaportrails.tv and uh, my wife is uh, in the Alps skiing this week and she sent a couple of pictures uh, what the one there with a the hot chocolate and a massive amount of cream I don't know what she like anyway you can't win love <laughs> yeah you can't enter um, but there you go everyone else you can so and this week's winner this week's winner is Richard Ivers uh, with a couple of photos he sent me uh, a while ago a couple of weeks ago I think um, with his collection of mods there, including the um, what has been described as lady toy like Tesla. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Richard is the winner. I will be uh, sending you an email after the show and I'll tell you how you get your juice. Now, we are going to move swiftly along because I'm going to get slapped in about six minutes when I go overtime. But there you go. We are going to go into Vaping Dazzy's 
Hardware Roundup. It's hardware. It's Roundup. It's the Hardware Roundup. Hello guys and welcome to another Hardware Roundup with me, Vaping Daz, here on the Vapor Team Show. I've uh, got two items that we're going to be covering this week for you. Now the first one is, the seems to be that the lava tube is now going to be, or they have released a version, which is a variable voltage and variable wattage. Now, I have it on good authority that there's a few vendors going to be selling it and that Daz from Safer 6 will be getting this within the next few weeks. Um, so what I did was I did a little bit of hunting around for it on the internet and I found it. Now, it's not actually called the Lava Tube through this company. Um, the company's called 2smok.com, 2SMOK, and they call it the Thunder Variable. Now, it's a, it, they abbreviate it as VVW, which we know as Variable Voltage, Variable Watch Device, and they're calling it an APV, which is an Advanced Personal Vaporizer. Um, it does remind me a little bit of the VAMO, I have to say, um, but have a look at it for yourself. Now, it takes two different styles of batteries. It takes an 18650 and it takes um, 18350s that you can stack as well. But the end cap on it, you don't have to change, unlike, for instance, the Zigelli Z Max, um, which you have to put on the longer cap, excuse me, the longer cap for the stack and the shorter one for. The 18650. How they get away with it is, like I was showing you with the Chrome mod last week, you just literally um, unscrew part of the tubing on the body, and that's what gives you the shorter battery, well the 18650, and if you want the stack you put the tubing back on, pop it in, and it will use the same end cap. Now unfortunately um, they didn't state um what threaten it was now i'm anticipating it's a 510 but i will be feeding back to them because i was disappointed about that and they didn't also state what the increments were um on the voltage and the wattage so again i will be uh, feeding that back to them uh now they're selling it uh it's on euros but i do believe the ship to the uk guys um and for a kit which consists of one thunder body two 18 350s uh two clearomizers a bottle with the needle for filling the clearomizers and the battery charger so all that with the kit comes in at 54 euros and 99 cents uh but i would imagine you would have shipping on top of that so that is the thunder variable, but may always be known as the lava tube variable. I'm not sure what it's going to be called yet. Um, and you can find that currently on 2smock.com. So secondly, um, this is a little bit out of my league, but I'm going to cover it the best way I can for you. I've heard a lot about ribbon canthal. So it seems that Ribbon Canthal is here to stay and I found it on, I know some people were talking about it in chat the other night and I found this which is by the meshcompany.com and this is Canthal Heat Resistant Ribbon Wire. Now it's £3.75 for a 10 metre spool and what it states is that Canthal is well known for its heat resistance properties. Um, now the heat resistance, it says it can cope with up to 1,400 degrees Celsius and it has a melting point of 1,600 degrees Celsius. The coil comes in 10 meter lengths and uh, the measurements are 0.5 millimeter by 0.1 millimeter, which is in inches. There's 0.02 inches by 0.04 inches. Um, and the spool it comes with is a plastic spool as well. So that is the Ribbon Canthal, which comes from the meshcompany.com at a price of £3.75. So that's all I have time for you today. But if you stay tuned, um, I'm not sure if there'll be a hardware roundup next week. At the minute, new stock is looking pretty scarce. I'll see what I can do, see what I can come back with. If not, I will see you back here as soon as possible once I have found the latest and greatest out there to help you with your vaping experience as always. So thanks again for watching. Back to you in the studio, Marco. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Hardware Roundup. And thank you very much to Vaping Daz for this week's Hardware Roundup. Um, that Canthal um, ribbon looks quite interesting. I may well get some of that. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from the Mesh Company in Warrington. 
uh, and then just down the road from my uh, my office strangely enough um just a quick a quick update here don't forget you can go to the vapor trails tv facebook page um, get on there sign up like us uh, you can drop in any uh, questions or comments about the shows uh, and if you've got any questions or comments um regarding the show so if you've got a question you want to ask um, gary dibley for instance or mr dawn that's a good place to start right oh there we go i've turned myself off auto life uh, <laughs> so i've got to click buttons now um that is it that is a uh, vapor show vapor scene for this week don't forget to tune in to the rest of the week we've got uh vt talk tomorrow the haze hour on thursday Sutton on Saturday, Dave K on Sunday with Dave's Tackle Box. The boys are back in town on Monday and I'm back again next Tuesday. It could be a pre-record. Um, there's a possibility I may have to go up north again uh, to Scotland, but uh, hopefully I'll be live. If not, you'll still get a show. I'm just looking for my next bit. There we go. You'll still get a show. So uh, I will see you next week. Happy vaping. Peace out. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.